We have live team coverage on the Sterling Scandal, starting with KCALINE's Rachel Kim live at Staples Center. Rachel with reaction to the NBA's ban today. That's right, Kent and Susie. Game five is still going on right now inside Staples Center behind us. Before the game, we talked to many fans who told us they were very happy with Sterling's punishment. They feel this is a necessary and positive change. To a cheering home crowd, the LA Clippers took the court tonight for game five against the Golden State Warriors. But even before the game, many fans felt a victory was already theirs. There was concern earlier today that there wouldn't be a game after reports of a walk-off after tip-off. But after hearing the punishment given to Clippers owner Donald Sterling for racist comments he made in a recorded conversation, the teams decided to play ball. Sterling was banned for life by the NBA, fined two and a half million dollars, and may be forced to sell his franchise. Before we even got season tickets, I somewhat knew of Donald Sterling's history. It's the team that we're really more interested in than Donald Sterling. I think it was harsh being a $2.5 million fine and a ban for life. I think it was harsh, um, but yet fair because there is no place for racism. As fans filled the seats inside Staples, the fallout was obvious. Advertisements were blacked out after sponsors backed out, and Sterling's usual seat will now be occupied by someone else. I honestly think that this is the fire that we needed to win this championship and the best thing that we could possibly do is win a championship and not have Mr. Sterling involved in any of it. And all of the fans we talked to tonight told us if the teams had decided to boycott Game 5, they would have supported that decision. Reporting live tonight in downtown Los Angeles, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. Okay.